And the Miami-Dade County Supervisor of Elections tries to calm concern about a bag and box of ballots found in the middle of a road in Cutler Bay. Good Samaritans recorded themselves returning both packages sealed shut. Now, officials insist the ballots inside were never in jeopardy. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is live tonight for us in Cutler Bay. And Larry, this all happened right in front of an early voting center, right? It did, Jim. This is where people drop off their mail-in ballots. It is also in the library that is behind me where people come for early voting. And as we turn around, I'm going to show you the driveway where the truck that leaves here every night with a box, uh, actually a container, full of those bins and bags with ballots. As it was leaving here, its door was unlocked on the back and out the back came tumbling a bin and a bag right there in the middle of Southwest 211th Street. Loaded with early voting ballots, this U-Haul carries paper records from South Dade Library polls to ballot counters. Except Monday night, when a group recording this video... That's sealed. Look at that. ...found a sealed ballot bin and bag in the road and took steps that moved Gina Bolano's Borchuk. Very grateful because if somebody who is not... Um, an honest person can take it home and maybe open it, but that person had the right decision. She's the mom of Army soldiers, a Black Hawk pilot who served in Iraq, and a daughter now disabled after fighting to protect freedoms, including the vote Gina just cast in Cutler Bay. We deciding our future and our kids' future. It's why fallout from the fallen ballots got the person responsible fired. They accidentally forgot to lock the back of the truck. Miami-Dade Elections Department director says the driver did not latch the back door. And as the truck left the library, the door opened and those blue packages fell. The box had paper ballots from one of nine voting machines. But officials say those were backups because voters already scanned in the ballots and each vote gets counted electronically. The sealed bag had one provisional ballot that needs reviewed because the voters' eligibility is in question. Well, we're very fortunate that the uh, law-abiding and upstanding citizens that found this on the road just as they were coming off of the truck. While election leaders and officers cheered the Good Samaritans who turned in the ballot bin and bag at the police department next to the library. Doing a good community service. Bolano Sporchuk is at ease too. I don't think that it's a big deal. She believes what happened is a mistake and that her ballot is secure. And in front of several witnesses, poll workers loading the next U Hall made sure it's locked, even adding a padlock. And tonight, the county elections director told us that the fired employee was distraught over what happened here. But, Jim, the county elections director says the department has zero tolerance for error because of what's at stake. Back to you. That's understandable. Okay, Larry's here reporting to us live. Thank you very much, Larry.